lot of land out here, a lot of places to search, and uh, hopefully we'll get something good today. Chet's over there with a metal detector. He's going to see if he can't pick up anything a little more interesting. Here are some of the bottles we left last time. Definitely more challenging to get through here now. Oh, sounds like Chet has a signal. Let's go check that out. This one's still another kind of jumpy one, but got a spoon last time and it wanted to can, so we'll check this one out too. direction and it moved that way. Well hopefully it's a deer. It could be a bear or a wildcat. So we're oh, right. nope. That I can tell you exactly oh, what that is. is. It a it's a file. Yeah. Oh, interesting at least. Yeah, old tool. Looks like uh the, might have broke that in the dig because it's see how it's clean along that edge? Mm-hmm. I don't know I'm what you're talking accusing, about. Man. I don't know what accusing. you're talking about. <laughs> Gosh, we've been all over the place and there's no luck. But today's going to be different. I can smell it. Playing with bottles. I came across this one. Unfortunately, it's broken. It's got a pretty wicked design on it, though. And I checked the bottom. And sure enough, Coca Cola Bottling Company, Georgetown, South Carolina. That's a good signal there. Chet's got a good signal. I'm gonna leave that there, but pretty cool. High 90s. Definitely worth digging. Oh, you're kidding me. No way, dude. That's awesome. Oh and it's almost my. all there, I think. Look. No way. Here, get a good no look way. at it. Yeah. Oh, uh, <laughs> that, my friends, is most of the pocket watch. I mean, you can see a little spot there in the middle where the hands were. I don't really want to mess with it too much, but yeah, uh, yeah we're going to clean up that sucker. Hard to work in all those roots, you know. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh no. That is what I think it is. Look, I got it with the shovel. That is the back to it. Let yeah, wipe it, it off real good. It doesn't look as uh, silvery. Uh -uh. Maybe it's just corroded, but golly, that looks like the back of a watch. Yep. Reading like a pull tab right in the middle of a bunch of crap. It's worth checking out because there's not a lot of beer cans right where we are.
not a penny. I know, it's a thimble. Is it? You're kidding me. I think so. Dude, you're right. I think it is. Now that's pretty cool. Here, hold on that. I think I got something else down. Get it cleaned up and take a look at it. I don't know what that is. The signal here is it like a solid dirty one iron. Sound like a freight train. But it's sizey. We'll see what it is. Because it's big, I'm curious. It could just be part of a tin roof or something. Yeah, I found out before. But not in this area, so. expect one of those. Not out here anyway. How far to the closest railroad? Like uh, eight or ten miles? Yeah, yeah. But I mean, that's now. I don't know about back then. That's a little railroad spike. Huh. We're in the middle of nowhere and there's just not a lot of signals. So uh, we're going to check this even though it sounds like iron again. That's the sound of the men <laughs> working on the chain. Look at the skeeters, dude. Oh my gosh, I'm turning my light off. Seriously, they're everywhere. Cool. Too bad it's getting dark. We're having a blast today, Lise. Yep. Day man is having a good time. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> well, we kind of enjoyed digging the railroad spikes, and this is another signal, but it seems a little bigger. Oh my. That's the sound of the oh, men no. working on the though. chain. Oh, my light is too much for the camera. There we go. I wonder if that is a rear is I mean it looks like it. Yeah, and we're finding it in kind of a straight line. Huh. Cool. <laughs> Sing it for us, Chet. Sing what? <laughs> He's not going to sing it. Damon. Oh. It's getting kind of late. Uh, we're heading back to our base camp. But I uh, thought we'd show you guys one last dig before we call it a night. 78, 79. Kind of sizey. It's got Budweiser written all over it. <laughs> Awesome. Oh, I hit it with a shovel, I think. I wish I wouldn't have nicked it. You can see the wheat scent right there, right? Um, I can't, but I'm blind. Wheat penny? Yeah. Cool. Nice. Awesome. Good signal. I'm glad we showed you guys that one. Yep. Thanks for joining us. There it is, all faithful. Shotgun show. Yep. Cool. Some sort of little jar lid, maybe. Maybe snuff can lid. Yeah. Is that on and off switch? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's from the uh, Boy Scout flashlight we found last time. Yeah, seriously. On. Well, I remember your brother said they had them off. Off. On. Off. Uh. It works. His brother said they also had them that looked just like that in the military. So. Boy Scouts, Army guys, you know. 
World War II. The back of the on and off switch. <laughs> I kid you not. Well, one of those rang up a 68 and the other one rang up an 81. Well, I guess that explains that. Hmm. Interesting. Not sure. Probably never know. It kind of looks like a key at first, but keep it on. More pieces on. Yeah. There's a spoon. Cool. Maybe. Uh huh. Maybe. Sorry about that. The mystery is solved. We called it. Redneck relic. At least they crushed it, I guess. <laughs> the Budweiser. All the way out here in the woods. Weird. Middle of nowhere.